Please welcome your first comment to the stage, Nick LaBeouf, everybody. Let it know. How's it going, guys? My name is Nick LaBeouf. I'm a stand-up comedian, I'm a YouTuber, and the oldest looking 22-year-old you'll ever meet. <laughs> I'm aware, I'm aware I look like the love child of Ben Affleck and Quentin Tarantino's hairline. <laughs> I've been doing stand-up comedy and YouTube videos since I was 16. I like being a YouTuber. I like sharing the platform with some of the most insane conspiracy theorists of all time. I was talking to my friend about it the other day. He said, bro, can you believe the Flat Earth Movement is actually gaining credibility online? Those people are idiots. They're a waste of oxygen. I was like, bro, you buy into all that oxygen bullshit? It's too bad. I wasn't aware I was in the presence of a brainwashed sheep. So we're not friends anymore. <laughs> Some of you might not know this, but I currently host the single most popular hockey goalie themed comedy series on YouTube. Huge deal. Make these videos at a rink known as the Lawrence Valley Forum, and I work at this rink part-time so I can make these videos and not go bankrupt. Uh, Lawrence is a rougher part of Massachusetts. We must be one of the only rinks in the country that's actually worried about finding the Zamboni outside on bricks after getting its rim stolen. <laughs> I have a boss named Mark. Mark is the best boss of all time. I say that because he cares and he doesn't care simultaneously. You know, like he does a good job, fixes things when they break, but he also smokes cigarettes in the Zamboni room next to the propane-fueled Zamboni several times a day. I'm like, Mark, don't you think that's, I don't know, kind of a hazard? He's like, yeah, it's definitely not good, but fucking kids won't stop pissing in the showers, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> this place sucks. Yes, the Zamboni is propane fueled, like I said. It's a 1983 that the owners bought refurbished in 1984. When that thing runs out of fuel, there's not much warning. Basically, a red light turns on that says low fuel, and you have exactly three seconds to switch to the backup tank before the engine dies, straight through in the middle of the ice, and people start to realize you're the kid from the YouTube videos. I'm basically iCarly if she hosted a show in the nastiest hockey rink in New England. Yeah, the rink isn't glamorous. It's a lot better than my first job. Uh, my first job when I turned 16, got this place at uh, got this job at this place called Olympia Sports. You know, a place where pedophiles go to get 50% off Adidas windbreakers. Yeah, that's a place. It's like Dick's Sporting Goods with less sporting goods and more dicks. I worked with this dick named Eric. Eric did not like me, and I don't blame him. I uh, did a good job of being nice to him, but I always used to fantasize about giving it back to him one day, saying something mean like, Eric, I'm 16, you're 44, and we both work at Olympia Sports. I am two promotions away from the peak of your professional career. When I turned 18, I got a job being the scrawniest guy at my local GNC. For those of you that don't know, GNC is a place where men on steroids sell protein powder to skinny white kids. Basically all these guys choose. Half of them didn't even look at They're covered in pimples, acne, scabs, and shit. To me, the question of whether or not you should do steroids is pretty simple. You know, would you rather look like a smaller, less muscular human, or a lumpier, veinier cheese pizza from Domino's? You don't play with your hormones, man. Testosterone is responsible for facial hair, puberty, spike TV, and both world wars. It's also responsible for loud exhausts on shitty cars. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this. I don't know who they're fooling. I don't know who's out there going, oh wow, that must be one of those fast, exotic Honda Civics. <laughs> I saw my friend at AutoZone the other day. He got T-boned, that's why he was there. He's like, yeah man, it sucks, but I guess that's just what happens when you buy nice cars. And he points outside to his 1995 BMW 3 Series. That's not a nice car. It's a BMW, sure, but it costs a thousand dollars and the shift knob is a bottle of coke. <laughs> old cars are only nice if they have heritage, you know what I mean? Like, a, like an old M3 or a Ferrari. The only heritage a used BMW 3 Series has is that a rich kid got his first hand job in the back seat. <laughs> the other day I met the biggest used car asshole in the world, and he's a Domino's driver that has a car identical to an undercover cop car. Literally. Black Ford Crown Vic with a bull bar and a spotlight driving around delivering every drug addict's favorite brand of pizza. Gave me a fucking heart attack. It's 3 a.m. I'm high as fuck. When I saw that guy pull up, 
I thought for sure that this was the final hour of my life as a free man. I wasn't aware that buying Domino's at 3 a.m. was probable cause for the DEA to tear up your house, but honestly, it probably shouldn't, because who else does that? Who on earth is like, yes, I am perfectly sober at 3 a.m. and a nice meal from Domino's Pizza would really hit the spot. If I called Domino sober, I wouldn't even know what to say. Hi, Domino's Pizza, how can I help you? Hi, yeah, listen, so I'm not on drugs right now and I still want food from here for some reason. Can you save my soul? I'm Nick LeBeau, thank you guys very much.